Here's how to use StockSpy Symbol Groups on iPad. It works the same on the iPhone app. From the symbol list, tap the back button to see your groups. From here you can view all groups, or you can view an individual group to see just the symbols in that group. You can tap the blue circle to edit the details for a group. And you can even choose to make it the default group where new symbols are added. We're going to add a new group called IPOs. And we're going to save it. Now we tap the edit button. And from here we can delete groups or rearrange them. Now we're going to tap view all groups again. Here's our newly created group. We'll tap edit. Now we choose the symbols we want to add to the new group. And we choose Move and tap IPOs. Now the symbols have been added to the IPOs group. We can also move symbols into a group by simply dragging and dropping. We tap Done and our changes are saved.